generations of organizers and troublemakers and hellraisers who formed secret sisterhoods, who opened Planned Parenthood health centers in their communities and demanded the right to control their own bodies. So I say, okay, what are your, what are you looking to supply today? We've been very good at getting cars on the Dr. Deborah Nukatola, Planned Parenthood's Director of Medical Services. An abortion provider discussing how to collect body parts from aborted fetuses over lunch at a California restaurant. So I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below, I'm going to crush above, and I'm going to see if I can get out of the tax. So what ethicists said to me is, look, if they were giving women abortions and they changed their technique, they changed their practices in order to get the best quality tissue after the abortion, that's problematic. This is the heart here. Um, I'm going to point right right there is the heart of the baby looks like the sacred heart of Jesus right there just the way it, it's shaped you know it's the heart beating uh, we always trust our doctors and that they want the best for their patients so I felt relieved and I thought you know she looks great she had an abortion she actually did two abortion you know perform two abortions on on her daughter, then I'm gonna be fine. And five minutes is nothing. But that's where my hellish nightmare started. No idea. It hurt me mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. I went in there with a baby and I, I walked out Her very first sense that there was a larger reality uh, involved was I was telling a friend of mine this, and I began to cry. There are tears that come out of nowhere, and it's not, it's not explainable. There's no secular explanation for it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>